BMW has unveiled the all-new 4 Series. The 4 Series is the two-door model based on the 3 Series platform. First things first, what do you think of this new grille? A bit smaller than the grille shown on the concept, but certainly a huge kidney grille that will certainly bring sharp comments. Is it the Miss Piggy of cars? Now the rest of the car looks good, but it's bigger. The last 4 Series had already grown too big for some buyers. That's why the 2 Series is such a great car. Compared to the 3 Series sedan it's based on, this new 4 Series Coupe is 66 millimeters longer, 25 millimeters wider, 25 millimeters lower with a 25 millimeter wider rear track while it does share the same platform and wheelbase. Now compared to the previous generation 4 Series, this new version is 132 millimeters longer, so it's bigger. The new 4 Series comes with standard LED headlamps. The long hood and side lines are reminiscent of maybe the last generation A5 in a few ways. The rear has slim L-shaped LED taillights plus trapezoidal exhaust finishers. They're integrated into the lower rear bumper cover. The standard M Sport package includes a unique styled front bumper with large air intakes. So overall, the design is sleek and sexy, it's just the front. The inside gets standard power sport seats. The extra length of the car will certainly help rear passenger room. Now the dash is what we've come to expect from BMW. Nothing revolutionary here at all, which is good and bad. Yes, BMW uses some fantastic materials and the dash is familiar to existing buyers, but compared to other brands, this is rather safe and conservative compared to many who have gone with the all-screen interior look. Here's some good news for Android users. BMW has finally included Android Auto, plus they have wireless Apple CarPlay as standard equipment. Adding Android is a great step and the subscription-based model for Apple CarPlay has been dropped. Power is up in horsepower and torque over the previous model. The new 430i xDrive has a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder with 255 horsepower, an increase of 7 horsepower, and it has 294 pound-feet of torque, which is 36 foot-pound more than the previous model. The base 430i accelerates to 100 kilometers an hour in 5.6 seconds. The new M440 is powered by the beautiful 3.0-liter inline 6-cylinder. It has 382 horsepower, that's up 62 horsepower, and it has 369 pound-feet of torque, that's up 39 pound-feet. This M440 can accelerate to 100 kilometers an hour in just 4.5 seconds. Both the 430 and M440 come standard with xDrive for the Canadian market, and power goes through an 8-speed Steptronic transmission. This new BMW still runs on run-flat tires. Now the more expensive and more powerful M440 gets a new 48 volt mild hybrid system. The 48 volt starter generator unit powers a separate 48 volt battery, which also allows for energy recuperation, storage and use during driving. The energy can be used by the starter generator to boost performance up to 11 horsepower during hard acceleration. So there you go, that's a quick look at the all new BMW 4 Series. A lot of the same features, horsepower, engines, etc. that we saw in the 3 Series is here in this car. Now all of the discussion will be about the oversized front grille. Do you like it? Will this help or hinder sales? Is this a play for maybe the largest car market in the world, China? Let me know what you think. There's no timeline on delivery dates, but this is a 2021 model, so it gives BMW some flexibility due to COVID, etc. So please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button if you like the video. CarCost Canada provides the dealer's cost, a list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get access to exclusive and powerful savings. The link is in the description below.